What's going on, friends? Brian with Edgefield Cards, back at you with another video. Well, here we are in week four of the NFL season, and we need to go over last week's picks. So, we'll start with uh, the Eagles versus the Saints. Got that wrong. Um, I think the Saints losing their center was such a big deal in in this game. Uh, it, it hurt their hurt their ability to protect um, the quarterback and uh, their rushing game. So let's see here. So Alvin Kamara did go for forty yards receiving. Alave did go for seventy yards receiving, but Rashid Shaheed had a big fat goose egg. So that one lost. Uh, Chargers beat the, our Steelers beat the Chargers. I got that one right. George Pickens did not get his 70 yards, but Firemuth got his four receptions. Pickens got his four receptions, so that one lost. Uh, the Bucks. <laughs> I don't know what happened here, but the Broncos just dominated this game. So uh, this was bad overall, and as you can see, I had two of my legs. Uh, go bad in this one so yeah we'll just move on so here's the rest of them you can see you know what i did good what i did bad uh, of course in that second week in a row my lock of the week lost so overall this week i was seven and eight for 46 percent it's a lot better than last week but still below 50 percent zero for three props so uh, minus 30 dollars for week three and then overall I've raised it to 11 and 19, 36%. I'm one for five in props. So right now I'm a negative $8.70 overall. So for this week, uh, let's try this again, right? Vikings versus the Packers. I have gone against the Packers uh, every week. And Jeff has told me how bad my picks were every week for the Packers. And he was right. Packers have won these games. I'm trying it one more time, Jeff, okay? I'm picking the Vikings, and I'm taking the three points. Uh, over and under is 44 and a half. Uh, I feel that... Um, so the Vikings are not going to have their linebacker. Ivan Pace, which is, you know, a little, it's, it's good for Green Bay, but Jair Alexander was a DNP on Friday with a quad and groin injury. So if he's not playing, oh man, Justin Jefferson is going to go off. And that is what I expect is going to happen. Um, I don't know if the Vikings are going to win this game, but with the three points, yes. So, for the prop bets, Justin Jefferson, anytime TD. Jaden Reed, anytime TD. Because I think if Love is back, Jaden Reed is going to have a hell of a game. And I've got Justin Jefferson, two plus TDs. So, $10 pays $156.50. Not bad, huh? All right. So, next game is Redskins versus the Cardinals. Cardinals are favored by three and a half. Over and under is 49 and a half. I've got the Cardinals on this one, um, and I'm giving up the three and a half. Reason being, Redskins have no pass rush, and they are horrible in the secondary. So, with that being said, um, my prop bets. First off, Brian Robinson, Austin Eckler is out. So, Brian Robinson is the man. I believe he'll get at least 25 plus yards receiving because I think they're going to be playing from behind. Um... Marvin Harrison getting four receptions, I think is easy. And Kyler Murray, 225 passing yards is pretty easy in this game. So $10, if you bet $10 on FanDuel, it pays out $50.95. All right, Chiefs versus the Chargers. So Chiefs are favored by seven, over and under is 41 and a half. So for the Chargers, Joey Bosa is out 
and that is a huge deal. Huge. Let me uh, find this one on my sheet. There we go. Um, so that's really going to help. Uh, well, it's going to help my homes a lot. Uh, let's see here. Justin Herbert is, you know, he's got a high ankle sprain, so he's questionable. And I think he's going to play, but I think it's going to happen like last week. He's going to get hit, and he's going to be out again. So they're also out their two tackles, um, Rashawn Slater and Joe Alt. So Kansas City's going to get to Justin Herbert. And uh, the running game for the Chargers are going to be hurt without those two tackles. So give me the Chiefs, minus seven points. Um, for my prop bets, I think it's a good bet that Patrick Mahomes is going to uh, throw for at least two touchdowns. I got Rasheed Rice on an anytime touchdown and Carson Steele on an anytime touchdown. So $10 pays $63.76. Okay, so for the Bengals and Panthers. All right, so Sheldon Rankin's a defensive tackle is out for the Bengals, which makes the running game for the Panthers a little better. But uh, Damian Lewis, their guard, is out for the Panthers, so that just that just nullifies it. Uh, they've got, the Panthers have got a cornerback and their defensive tackle out. So the Bengals are favored by five and a half, uh, over and under is 47 and a half. Give me the Bengals minus the five and a half. I truly think that, uh, they are, they're going to score a lot of points. I think, uh, I don't know how much points Panthers are going to, I don't know how good last year, week was. I really don't. So. Until the Panthers continue to prove it, I'm going to pick the Bengals. All right, so the next game is Broncos versus the Jets. Jets are favored by 7.5 points. They're over and under 39.5. I've got the Jets in this game because uh, I just think I think they're a better team. I don't know what, what we saw last week with the Broncos. I don't know if that was real. If that makes sense. So they're going to have to prove it. But at the same time, um, there is something going on with Aaron Rodgers and Garrett Wilson. Sorry. I don't know what the deal is, but I, I think Garrett Wilson will have a good game this week. and Maybe even uh, to tie it in, Tyler Conklin. So give me the Jets. All right, next game is Saints versus the Falcons. Falcons are favored by two and a half, over to unders 40 and a half. I had the Saints plus two and a half in this game until this morning. So, for the injury report, we've got the linebacker for the Saints is out, and that's going to hurt, uh, that's going to help the running game of the Falcons. But their, the center being out is such a big deal. So the um, the defense is going to get to Derek Carr. There's there's no doubt about this, and I, that also hurts their running game a little bit. So it was it was hard for me to justify picking the Saints with when that center is such a big deal, and you saw what happened last week. So I switched got the Falcons. I'm giving up two and a half points. Next game is the Jaguars versus the Texans. Texans are favored by five and a half. The over and under is 44 and a half. So Evan Ingram is out. Uh, the linebacker for the Jaguars is out. And what do we got here for Houston? Joe Mixon is questionable, but it's a high ankle sprain, so I just don't see that he's going to play. He was limited in practice on Friday, but if he plays, it's it's he's not going to last long. So I don't think he will play. Uh, so with that being said, I'm still taking the Texans minus five and a half, but 
I want to take the Jaguars. I want to believe in Trevor Lawrence. I want to think he's going to get it going. Um, but if you got Christian Kirk, I think you'll have a great game this this week. So there's that. The next game is the Steelers are favored by two and a half over the Colts. Uh, over and under is 40 and a half. Let's see. Jalen Warren is out for the Steelers. Um, and they've got a guard that is doubtful. But for the Colts, Quiddy Payne is out. That's huge. That is absolutely huge. So I think I think Justin Fields is going to have a good game. I think uh, Najee Harris is going to have a good game. So I am just I'm going to take the Steelers. I'm going to give up two and a half points. Next game is the Rams versus the Bears. Bears are favored by Bears are favored by three. Can you believe that? Over and under is 40 and a half. Well, everybody is out for the Rams, their whole team. No. So Cooper Cup and Puka Nakua are out. Uh, they've also lost um, some of their offensive line. So that's really going to hurt. For the Bears. They've lost some uh, some defensive players, but otherwise, they're pretty healthy. I think uh, I think Caleb's gonna gonna play well this week. So, and I just don't think the Rams have enough offense. So, give me the Bears, and I'll give up the three points. Next week, our next game is the Eagles versus the Buccaneers. Buccaneers are. Our Eagles are favored by one and a half. The over under is 41 and a half. In this game, AJ Brown's out. Devontae Smith is out. Uh, Jahan Dotson hasn't shown he can actually play. Lane Johnson, the tackle, is out with a concussion. This is this is tough. And linebacker Devin White is out. For the Buccaneers. They're fairly healthy. They've got a tackle out. They've got a safety out. But um, I'm going to go ahead and take the Bucks plus the points. There's, I don't know. I think the running game is going to be great for the Eagles. I just don't see the passing game doing anything. And I think, I think, uh, I think Tampa Bay will bounce back. So give me the Bucks one and a half, plus one and a half. All right, next game is Patriots versus the 49ers. 49ers are favored by ten and a half points. Yes, you saw that right. Ten and a half points. Uh, let's see, the over and under is forty and a half. So, obviously, for the 49ers, Debo is out. Um, CMC is out. And for the Patriots, nothing really significant. They got a tackle. Um, yeah, I see the 49ers. I, it's hard for me to give up 10.5 points. It really is. But I think they're the Patriots are not good. And so I'm just going, yeah. I'm gonna give it up. I'm gonna give up the points. So give me give me the give me the 49ers. All right, next game is Browns versus the Raiders. Browns are favored over one and a half. The over and under is 36 and a half in this game. So we've got uh, it's a Jerome Ford game. But the two starting tackles are out for the Browns, which is really tough. But the Raiders, Devontae Adams is out. Um, that's huge. Oh, and Max Crosby is out also. So, with your best wide receiver out, your best defensive player out, and the quarterback struggling, there's no way I can pick the Raiders. Absolutely no way. So, I know how bad the Browns have been playing, but 
there's too much of an advantage for them. So I'll give up the one and a half points and uh, I'll take the Browns. And that is my lock of the week. Next game is the Bills versus the Ravens. Ravens are favored by two and a half points. The over and under is 46 and a half. So uh, the Bills are down uh, a linebacker and a cornerback and a tackle. And the Ravens are out a cornerback and an offensive line. So why am I taking the Bills plus two and a half? Well, it's because the Ravens, for the first time in a long time, can't cover very well. I believe this is going to be a huge Josh Allen game. I expect him to have a game like last week. I mean, not four touchdowns, but he is going to look amazing. And I do not think the Ravens can uh, can stay with him. So give me the Bills plus two and a half points. All right, next game is Titans versus the Dolphins. Dolphins are favored by two and a half points. This is a Monday Night Football game. Over under is 37 and a half. So the Titans are going to be without their best defensive tackle, Jeffrey Simmons. That's huge. Amani Hooker, their safety, is probably going to be out. He had limited practice all week, but I don't know if he'll, he's going to be able to play. Dolphins are going to start uh, Tyler Hundley as their quarterback. And I think that's actually going to help them. So with that in mind, I'm going to take the Dolphins. And I'm going to give up the two and a half points. And I think Tyreek is going to have a great game. So, the last game is Seahawks versus the Lions. Lions are favored by three and a half. The over and under is 46 and a half. This is another Monday night football game. Uh, the Seahawks, it looks like uh, Kenneth Walker III is probable to play. So, he's back. But his replacement has been playing really well. Um, but man, they are out, they're out of defensive end, defensive tackle and two linebackers, boy, Maffe being one of them for the lions. They lost their center, uh, but everyone else is, is looking pretty good. So my thoughts on this game is this is going to be a, um, it's going to be a good Jameer Gibb game and a good, um, a Mon Rob St. Brown game. Just, I think the Lions are going to easily handle the Seahawks. So give me the Lions, and I'm giving up three and a half points. So well, that's it for this week. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know how you think I did. Um, I'm getting better. I'm getting better at this. And again, let me give do a disclaimer. Do not listen to my pick. I do not uh, put money on my picks. I'm not a professional. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. This is for uh, shits and giggles. That's really what this is for. So, yeah. Anyways, like the video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for... Um, for, for watching and, and just, you know, putting up with my BS. But anyways, thanks again for watching, and I will see you on the next one.